Hey, you guys. I am here with Jasmine. She is from Indianapolis, my hometown. Yeah. <laughs> and we got the best market in the Midwest. Here you come to Indianapolis and buy. But um, Jasmine, tell us a little bit about what what's because we didn't talk off air, y'all. And tell us what, what's on your mind. Um, so I just want to let everybody know um, when you're working with investors, you know, you definitely want to charge like an upfront fee. Um, otherwise, you'll be, you know, driving around showing all these properties. And, you know, when they don't find something or when they don't close, you wasted all that time. So it's very time consuming, mm -hmm. I would say. So I would say definitely charge a upfront fee. So what would your fee be for the client? Um, well, let them know what client you had a client from Cali. California. Okay. Yes. And they came down for one day. Yes. So maybe have like a one day fee for that type, type of client. Yes. So what would you charge for that? Well, in my contract, I had a, a fee in there that says that if they cancel or if they don't close on a home, then they will have to uh, pay $50 per house that I showed. Okay. That's good. Yeah. And he signed it. So. Okay. That's a real good clause to have in the contract. So yes. is that something that you created? Yes. For investors. Okay. So what would you tell the realtors out there who do have investor clients? What would you, how would you tell them how to work with them? Um, definitely have them sign that contract. I know in the beginning he wanted to talk down on that $50 a day. He was like, well, how about I just pay 25 a day? You just got to set your boundaries and stick to it. Okay. Like, and, and if they don't want to work with it, then, you know, they don't have to. What I would say too, is that not only do you have fees that you have to pay, but if you're going to repeatedly send them comps. Yes. Or it's a lot of work. Yeah, it that's is. involved. And we live in a high price market where people want to get in on our market. Right. So you have to have that up front because you will waste so much time. Meanwhile, they didn't make a hundred thousand dollars off a of flip and you didn't work four months just to get a six thousand dollar commission. Check. Exactly, yeah. And you know, in investment properties, their um commission checks aren't really that much because the property isn't worth exactly because they're trying to flip it to make mm -hmm. more money. So yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Anything else you would like to share? And let them know. Um. Well, I'm from Indianapolis, so I, right now I'm just trying to work with investors. Um. I'm open to that. I do work with first-time home buyers, but right now investing is really hot right now in Indianapolis. Okay. So, so you prefer investing? Yes, at this time. Okay. What made you want to just focus on investing? Um. Watching you. Oh. <laughs> of course. Okay. Anything else? That's it. All right, y'all. So that is episode four with Jasmine from Indy. What are we going to call this? Um, I don't investing know. The smart way. Investing, working with investors the smart way. There you go. All right, you guys. Toodles. See you on the next one.